How's it going bros? This is Gaming Tank and I'm gonna be showing you bros how you can use your USB flash drive to back up your saves from your PlayStation 4. The, now the reason you might want to do this is because uh, uh, to back up your saves the alternate option for this is to get a PlayStation Plus membership. But if you don't have a PlayStation membership you're not all out of luck. There is a way you can do it. And it's very similar to another uh, tutorial video I made in the past in which I showed you how to use a USB flash drive to play movies, music or anything else on your PS4. So yeah, you're gonna need a USB flash drive, uh, you're gonna need a PC and of course you're gonna be needing your PlayStation 4. Yeah, it's pretty simple and I'm gonna show you right now. Let's begin. I'm at the PC and uh, I'm gonna be uh, going to the computer it might be called uh, my PC if you're on Windows 10 I guess uh, so yeah I have the USB flash drive plug here and what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be formatting this USB drive to FAT32 format okay so I'm gonna format and uh, FAT32, file system FAT32, capacities, okay, allocation user size, don't uh, touch anything here, that's basically defaults. Leave it default and just click uh, start, it will erase all the data, so back up all the stuff you want. So, it's a, it has completed the format, and now our USB is ready to be used on our PlayStation 4. Before using it though, we have to create a new folder and we have to name it PS4. Oh god, <laughs> I did the dollar. So yeah, we have to create a play, uh, PlayStation 4 folder inside of this and just go back and eject it safely. Okay, now I'm gonna be removing the USB flash drive and I'm gonna be transitioning the video to the PlayStation 4. So I'm at the PlayStation 4 and now I'm gonna be plugging in my USB flash drive uh, into the PlayStation 4. Uh, you can use any ports you want, uh, so let's plug it in. Okay, so now the USB is uh, plugged in, we need to go to settings, we need to go to Application save data management. We are going to be going uh, to the save data and system storage, and we're going to be going to copy to USB storage device. So yeah, we're going to be going uh, ahead and clicking it. So I'm going to be using a uh, Bloodborne as example to, for the save. So I'm going to be just uh, uh, pressing X to enter and just. Select it and just click copy. It's gonna copy it. Okay, so now that uh, the save has been copied, the way you can recover it is going back again to the application save data management. Uh, you're gonna go to the save data on USB storage and it's gonna be showing us uh, an option to copy to system storage we're just gonna uh, press enter and then it's gonna be showing us the uh, save that we have so I've uh, clicked on copy to system storage and it's showing me Bloodborne because I used Bloodborne for this video that's all you have to do so yeah bros this was pretty much it for this video bros don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel I upload interesting gaming technology and comedy videos so you won't regret subscribing. And yeah, I should have said this in the beginning of the video. I have changed the hairstyle. Uh, let me know uh, if you bros like it or not. And yeah, I'm gonna be linking the previous tutorial that I made uh, for the PlayStation 4. Or any tutorial I made in the past, I don't remember. So it's been a long time since I've made a tutorial. So yeah, I'm gonna be linking that in the description box down below. So yeah, like, subscribe, ring the bell notification icon, yes, click on it. 
so you may not miss out any of my future content. With that being said, I'm gonna end this video right here, bros. Let me know in the comments down below which tutorial you want me to make next. And if you need any problem with it, if you're facing any troubles, please let me know in the comments. And I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, stay awesome, bros. Here comes the bro fist.